Thanks for checking out Sortly. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to invite users into your system. And then we'll also have a follow up video on how to set up permissions for those users once they've been invited. So to add users into your Sortly account, you can go to the settings panel and you're going to click settings again. From here, you're going to go to the section that says manage team. Now under manage team, only certain level users will have access to this panel, specifically owner level users. If you're an admin or a team member level user, you will not have access to this view. So do keep that in mind on your side of things. As an owner level user, you'll have access to invite users as well as manage your team and remove users from your organization. You'll also have the ability to add additional user seats. Now, depending on the account you're with, you will have a set number of user seats and the potential to expand upon that user set within your account. As you can see here, I have a current user, which is the initial user I signed up with, which is my email address. You'll see the current owner role or the role of this user. In this case, I'm a owner. And then you'll see the status, whether they are accepted or their pending invitation. And then also the last date that they were active. So in this case, uh, just a few days ago, uh, I was active and this one was never. Now, one thing to highlight here is that this user specifically, they've been invited, they have a team member role, and they only have a pending status. So when you send them an invite, they're going to get an email, they're going to be able to set up their own password within the organization, uh, and then they'll delegate where they'll have access to via folders. And I'll show you what that looks like in a follow up video here. On the right hand side, you'll have a couple options, you have the ability to resend this uh, invitation. So if you click on this option here, are you sure you want to resend the invite, you can go ahead and hit yes. If you click on the pencil tool here, you're going to be able to edit this user's credentials. Uh, in this case, you can edit their first and last name, their email, their phone number, and then their current user role. And then lastly, there is also an option here to remove the user from the system. And you can click on the delete button here, and that will remove that user from your system here. Finally, there is also an opportunity for you to add additional user seats. You can click on the add seat option here. You select the number of seats that you wish to add. It will create a ticket in the support team uh, and we'll be able to add those user seats for you in your setup. So in order to add a user, all you have to do is click on the invite user button. It's gonna pop open some information on this user. So you'll typically include a first name, a last name, an email. You have a phone number as an optional field and then the user role. You can select from team member, admin, and owner. You will then hit send invite and that's going to invite the user into your organization. In a follow up video, I'm going to show you specifically how the user permissions work and what's in the pipeline for the future. Thanks so much. Have a great day.